So today I want to just do a short video on how to fix um, the Pentax ME Super very uh, common problem where um, the mirror would stuck up. So um, before I start, I recommend um, viewers to uh, go visit the YouTube channel of Romping Bronco. He's done three videos on how to fix um, this problem, but um, I feel like there are certain aspects of the problem that he didn't completely address. And I'm hoping that by making uh, my set of videos, um, I can help uh, uh, contribute to the discourse. So first I'll address how you can take apart uh, this fine camera, the Pentax ME Super. So first thing first, you want to remove um, the, re the rewind knob by simply holding kind of the rewind shaft in place with a screwdriver and then twisting this. And after you've, re you've removed this, you will need to remove a nut which um, kind of holds the rewind knob uh, or the ASA and um, exposure compensation assembly onto uh, this shaft. And that can be on pretty tight. So you want to be real careful. Maybe use a rosary plier, um, which is recommended by the Romping Bronco. And then you want to remove the film advance lever, which first you want to remove the cap. This is a cap that can be removed simply by using a piece of rubber, hold it on tight, and then turn it uh, counterclockwise. And underneath there will be another nut that holds um, this uh, this uh, item or uh, the the film uh, the film advance lever in place, and that nut is reverse threaded, so it'll have to go clockwise to loosen. That's going to be uh, a tricky bit that you want to pay attention to. Uh, other than that, there's nothing else that needs to come off on the on the top plate. So you have six screws that holds the top, pa top plate in place. These two, which are the same. This one right here. This one right here underneath the ASA and exposure compensation assembly. And these two here and here. These two are the same. These two are not the same. And these two are the same. So four, four different type, uh, types of screws that holds the top plate in place. And on the bottom plate, you have three different screws here, here, and here. Uh, and these three screws off, you can pretty easily remove the bottom plate. So once you have both the top and the bottom plates removed, you will see something that looks a bit like this, which also this is would have been in place, which is the film um, film counter assembly as well as the shutter assembly that I took out of this camera but <clears throat> um, this is your mirror box and the mirror box is held on um, to the rest of the body with actually before that so after you have removed the bottom plate um, which is held on by actually two different kinds of screws I was wrong just now about the three different kinds of screws. There are two different kinds of screws. Um, you will first want to remove this assembly right here, which is held on by three screws. This is a linkage that links the um, shutter caulking mechanism, which is um, underneath here, to the film advance, which is here. And you can see that um, this uh, this whole mechanism actually um, cocks both the shutter and the mirror, and you'll you'll see what I mean uh, once I um, go to the, um, uh, the 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 camera that had been disassembled. Um, the shutter mechanism is right here, and this lever, this lever right here, is right underneath here. So by moving the uh, sh uh, film advance lever, 
you are moving this piece of metal that will um, apply a force to this lever right here, which cocks, uh, cocks the shutter. And you will also um, move this, uh, this thing right here, and it's held on with a pretty strong spring. And if you do this, um, your, uh, your mirror is cocked. So this is a crucially important um, mechanism that connects the film advance to um, the shutter and to the mirror. This is held on by three different types of uh, three different screws. These three, they are all different. So just make sure that you remember which one goes where. Also, um, the screw that is highlighted with the red arrow needs to be loosened before. Um, the linkage that is highlighted with the purple arrow can be removed. Uh, as you can see, the purple thing or the purple highlighted thing is on um, kind of a friction bearing and it's um, stacked underneath the wider screw that is highlighted with the red arrow and that has to be loosened before the whole mechanism can come off. And as we are in here, you might want to just go ahead and desolder these um uh, these two leads uh the the green one and the blue one and note which one's on the bottom and which one's on the top and once you have the top plate removed you will see something that looks like this so um once you have this once you uh come to this step you want to desolder a number of joints so you won't run into the problem of um having to um, rip the the wires out and you know lose track of them so the the first thing you want to uh, desolder is this one this uh this there's a here there's a solder joint right here which um, has a yellow wire that connects to um, underneath here which is the ASA slash exposure compensation um, assembly and you want to desolder um, the four wires that go underneath here there are four solder joints down here and that can be kind of tricky to get to but if you just remove or if you just move this um, this ribbon cable out of the way it should be um, readily accessible also, there will be a piece of uh, plastic film that covers um, this position, and you want to remove that first prior to desoldering. So these three are the connectors that would connect to um, the shutter speed and uh, exposure mode uh, selector assembly. And you can see down here that there are three contact pads over here. Um, beyond that, um, again, of course, you want to dis, uh, desolder um, these, these two positions over here. And that should be all you need to desolder on the camera, I think. Oh, actually, desolder this lead that connects to, um, uh, again, into the um, shutter speed. Um, sorry, the, the, the ASA and uh, exposure compensation assembly. And when you have all of the bottom uh, linkage and the wires desoldered on top, um, you want to uh, remove four screws, uh, actually six screws, these four, and these two to get your mirror box out. So that's your mirror box. And when you get your mirror box, uh, mirror box out, you will um, go uh, over here, and you can see this is your self uh, self timer. Don't have to mess with that. And over here is your um, uh, uh, mirror trigger mechanisms, and the culprit is actually right here uh, underneath this screw, and. Um, so this is kind of a linkage that um, is, yeah, oof, that scared me. 
Um, this is a linkage that is supposed to move freely up and down. And this, if you can see this notch right here, this connects or this uh, interacts with the shutter mechanism through um, some lever that is um, over here. Maybe something to do with the electromagnet that controls um, the shutter timing and um, so this is supposed to move up and down freely and what I think um, usually happens with these types of cameras is that it get gunked up and why does it get gunked up so if we dig further into it so I have removed the uh, flathead screw over here right here and if we kind of move this lever out of the way a little bit ha there's the culprit you see that it's a piece of rubber that rubber is gonna degrade over time over the man like 40 years and it's gonna turn into a black goo that's gonna that's gonna gunk up this mechanism and once it does not move up and down freely, the mirror doesn't come down. That's, that's what happens. And would I call this uh, planned obsolescence? Probably not. You know, it's been, it's been this camera is like 40 years old. Uh, if, if, you know, your, your iPhone can last this long, then I, I, I'd be fine with it, honestly. But um, this is the problem that will cause um, this lever to gunk up. And, you know, what, what can you do to fix this? I, I don't know, really. Um, this lever probably, or this rubber piece probably serves as serves a si similar role as the uh, infamous pad of death in the Yashica Electro 35 cameras, which I also have one, and luckily the camera that I had has its pad of death replaced by an earlier owner. And it's probably for um, shock absorbance, which this lever probably would have moved during the mirror operation. And it's gonna hit on this piece of rubber so it doesn't break any mechanisms, but it does go bad. You can clean it really well with um, some rubbing alcohol and just assemble this part back together and then put the whole camera, you know, back into one piece. Um, so I guess the reverse assembly process would have been, or would be, to, um, put the six screw, uh, put the mirror box assembly on first, and then put the linkage on, and then solder all the, I think, eight solder joints, this here, um, um, this, this here. Uh, these two down here and the four that is hidden underneath here and yeah that's I guess that's it